Hi guys, my name is Gina James Bell and welcome to episode 3 of Mean Girls Spring Break. Things are not going so well for us. Mika kind of dumped us last episode. Let's see what happens in episode 3. If you are a player of episode, the kind people over at Pocket Gems have given me a link to pass on to you where if you click it, you can get 10 free gems and 10 free passes. So I'll put that link in the top line of the description. Make sure you go ahead and get those. Let's go ahead and start episode three. Great, still searching for service. Morning, sleepyhead. Between the spider infestation in my mattress and that text from Mika, I slept a grand total of five minutes. How are you feeling today? Horrible, a little bit. Uh, pretty horrible, to be quite honest. Our boyfriend dumped us. What do you think? I feel horrible, Katie. I'm so sorry, Greenoid. I just wish I could actually talk to him on the phone. Getting dumped over text is so cold. It really is, and it's like they're in a long-term relationship. It's not just like it's like a quick sort of fling thing. It's been a long time. Well, don't hold your breath. The lady at the front desk told me some college kids decided to have a party up at Cell Tower, and their bonfire melted all the cables. What? Yup, St Isabel's is going to be completely offline till new equipment comes from the mainland in a week. Oh my goodness, a whole week. But we leave in five days. I have to wait until we get back to U of E to talk to Mika. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Look on the bright side, green eyed. And that would be... Uh, you guys, I feel like someone pulled my chest out of my heart and ran it over with a bus. Now I'm supposed to coach Regina through this competition, but all I can think about is Mika. Don't mention that dirtball's name in front of us. Dumping you over text, unacceptable. Maybe he couldn't stand the thought of staring Greenoid in the face. I mean, can you blame him? Just look at her. Bitch. <laughs> He's a coward and a rat, if you ask me. I agree, Damien. Oh yeah, you're right, Damien. He is a coward. Knowing that about him just makes me feel worse. Well, I know what will make you feel better. In a joint shopping effort, we picked you up a little something at the boutique on Surf Street. Don't forget, Damien is minoring in fashion therapy, Greenoid. Minoring? Please. I have a PhD in the field. Is it football or baseball field? Karen's just always lurking there in the background, isn't she, with the phone? <laughs> um, I don't need a makeover, you guys. No, that's exactly what you need. You're a disgrace to the sisters of Delta Mutau. But you just right. You're not going to march forward and enjoy spring break dressed like that. Dressed like what? Like you live in a van? <laughs> like a zombie? Like you have a flu? <laughs> oh dear. Chop chop, Jim's a girl. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna wear? Yeah, this looks quite acceptable. This looks good. In fact, it looks very good. Oh, my. Now this is the green eyed I remember. Oh yeah, we look good. And she's about to get her groove back in St Jezebel. Did somebody say dance party? <laughs> There's no denying it. How do I look now? Not like you live in a van. Not like a zombie. Not like you have the flu. Dress like a diva, change back into sweatpants. We got to dress like a diva for 24 gems. That's sneaky because it shows you what you look like and then it's be like, yeah, if you've got no gems, no, change back into the sweats. Now let's dress like a diva. So Jezebel, here comes Green Eyed Gemsicle. Yes, queen. You're taking this whole thing really well, Green Eyed. Yeah, for a girl who got dumped by a text. Honestly, I think I'm still in shock. I have so much I want to say to Mika, and I wish I didn't have to wait till we get back to Evanston. You know what you could do? Write him a letter. Katie wrote to me all the time whilst I was in Prague, just to get your feelings out there. Of course. People had long distance breakups for hundreds of years before cell phones and internet. Whatever you've got to tell yourself, Jemsicle. I'll ask the front desk for some stationery. Okay. 
<laughs> Go write a letter as bold as your outfit, girl. Oh God, what are we gonna put in this letter? You love me for who I am and that helped me grow as a person. I know that you're a good person deep down, but the way you ended things would not have been colder or more abrupt. Uh, oh, how should we end it? Immature and over? Still, um, I mean, there's obviously something going on with him, isn't it? So, I feel like just to walk away from it and like, not bother is a bit cruel. So, let's say we still love him. In spite of it all, I still love you. Whatever yours, green eyes. Now time to mail this thing and get on with my life. Okay, quick change of location. If you don't know, we're in Singapore at the moment and I'm really struggling to find places where I can record. I was recording down by the pool, but then it got really busy. People came and they were having drinks and things. It's like, I can't record here anymore. So I've come up into our room. It's normally not quiet here, but everyone's out at the moment. So I can hopefully get this episode done. Let's continue. So, all right, hot stuff. Let's float this boat before the tide changes. Please, please, please make sure you're back in time for tonight's Greek conference mixer. It's a mandatory event, meaning you cannot just disappear again. For the tenth time, Damien, yes. I understand what mandatory means. Do you really think I'd spend a single second more with Janice and the Chaz man than I absolutely have to? You can be my first mate. How far is the eco reserve, Chaz? It's on another island like two hours away, so we should be there by noon. We're going to another island. Don't worry, babe. You'll be safe with the Chasmeister. <laughs> Lay a hand on me and I will throw you overboard. Please be back in time. Everyone noticed that you weren't there last night. We're already at a disadvantage. I told you what happened. Well, it can't happen again. That's why I made you this schedule. We'll meet in the hotel room at 3.45 sharp. 3.45. Can we remember that? What are you, my parole officer? You can quit with the marching orders already. Excuse me for being prepared. Do you know how childish you sound right now? If you have so little faith in me, then maybe you should count me out altogether. See how well you do flying solo in this competition. Easy to say when you have only superficial photo to lose. But Greenoid and I have real stakes in this competition. My half of the $100,000 and a lifetime without student loan debt, to be precise. You think I care about some stupid photo shoot? I care about winning, Damien. <laughs> Fine. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm so superficial and so childish that I should just bounce off to some five-star beachfront resort and take a vacation. Too bad for you they were booked. <laughs> No dear, they were all booked. Who's to say I don't have something lined up for tonight? You wouldn't watch me. <laughs> oh dear, I don't think she would. She's not that much of a bitch anymore, I don't think. Could you two call a ceasefire on World War Three? While we're burning daylight, the Chicato Fern is creeping towards extinction. This boat is leaving now. I'll see you tonight. If you're lucky. <gasps> Damien stressed. Oh, where are we? She's impossible to work with. Regina is not impossible. You just have to compromise with her. Trust me, we've been friends since fifth grade. There's no compromising with a dictator. She knows how to make people bend to her will. Me too. I can be just as charming as Regina. She got that active duty marine to give her his first class seat on our flight over here. Well, I could have if I ever wanted to. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Test me. Test you? Fine. Bring a guy in this smoothie shop and make him ask you out on a date. Challenge accepted. If I pull it off, you have to admit that I have Regina level social skills. Sure, okay, whatever. Pick your mark. How about that guy? Oh my God, Damien, smoothie guy. I mean, JD, what are you doing here? You two know each other? That's cheating. Gretchen, you know the smoothie place in the food court at Evanston Mall? Junior and senior year. 
I was there like every day getting hit on by me and enjoying free smoothies. Oh my God, this is Smoothie Guy. He's gorgeous. Kretchen Wieners of the Strudel Wieners. That's my family. I'm super shy about it though. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I came to St. Jezebel on a family vacation and I decided I couldn't take another Midwest winter. So, just so happened, this local smoothie place was hiring and the country has very lax visa laws. <laughs> it's great to see you. I was just thinking about you the other day. You too. I mean, I wasn't thinking about you. It's good to see you. <laughs> too bad you came this week though. It's the National Greek Conference. Is there anything more obnoxious than a bunch of frat and sorority jerks? Uh, I guess you and I will have to sneak off somewhere quiet to escape the Greek invasion. Do you have to flirt right in front of me? First Brody and now this smoothie guy. Ooh, hey man. You won't believe these guys are from my hometown. Damien, Gretchen, this is my favorite regular on the island. Count Travis Antonio. Your favorite? Oh, you do flatter me, good sir. Did he say count? As in royalty? I watched Princess Di's funeral like a thousand times. My word, JD. Are all the women of your hometown so exquisitely beautiful and well-versed in European history? I may not be the best judge of female beauty. <laughs> it would be my pleasure to show you around the island, Miss Wieners. Such a beautiful name. <laughs> Rolls up the tongue like a poem. I would adore that Count Travis Antonio. Why don't all four of us grab dinner? A splendid idea. We're in. <laughs> Okay, so I clearly won the challenge. Challenge? I got a guy in there to ask me out. Now admit it, I have the Machiavellian social skills of Regina, plus better hair. <laughs> Count Turdis Antonio only asked you out because JD asked me out. Here's the new challenge. First one to kiss their man on the double date wins. You're on. And get ready to start addressing me by my new name, Countess Weenus. <laughs> later that night. Am I going to be in this episode at all? I feel like I haven't been in this episode. Oh, here we go. Sending that letter felt really good. I feel better. I feel strong. Sad, but strong. How could Mika just dump me like that? Oh, Beautiful sunset, isn't it? Incredible. Let me guess, you're a model. <laughs> no, a fashion designer. I'm a college student. <laughs> Gotta fool me with that outfit. First time in St. Jezebel? Is it that obvious? How's your trip treating you so far? Mmm, not so good. I mean, well, not, no, not so good, to be honest. Not great, actually. Oh, yeah, I could tell. You seem a little depressed. What a nosy jerk. <laughs> Do you think you're being helpful right now? I know I'm sad, okay? I don't need some random stranger to walk up to me and say I look depressed. <laughs> She's been a bit of a bitch, isn't she? Whoa, I really didn't mean to. Just save it, okay? Go watch the sunset somewhere else and leave me alone. I'm so sorry, I... Why are you still talking to me? Go away. I really didn't mean to overstep. Hope you have a nice spring break. What's gotten into us? We've been a right bitch. Crap. That guy was probably just trying to be nice. Yeah, he was. There you are. Green Odd, we have a situation. Damien, I have my own situation I'm dealing with right now. It's called heartbreak. Well, unfortunately, we've got another situation on our hands. And it's called losing a $100,000 scholarship. What? Regina, she vanished. She was supposed to be back two hours ago. The mixer is in 20 minutes. If she doesn't show up... At if she doesn't show up pronto, we are out of the competition. <gasps> Uh-oh. I don't understand. Why would she just disappear? We had a fight. I made her a schedule and she thought I was being bossy. <laughs> I also kind of called her shallow and childish. Did she freak out? She said she's going to ditch us and check into a luxury resort. Damien! 
what? I didn't think she was serious. I thought every resort was booked. Everything was booked last night. She said she found something for tonight. This is all your fault, Regina. Regina's fault. This is all Regina's fault. If she could have just put her ego in check for just once, we could have aced this competition. I can just picture her now getting a forehand massage and drinking a green juice. Her selfishness just cost us each $50,000. I don't think I've ever hated anyone as much as I hate Regina right now. I curse her. Curse you, Regina George. <gasps> Maybe something bad's happened to her. Four hours earlier. Oh, okay. Did you get a photo of this yet? Of what yet? These Claudinia spores. <laughs> They're about to pop. You might want to have it looked at by the doctor. <laughs> it's on the endangered botanical species list. And so this literally might be your only chance to get a photo. Enough. I got like six selfies with your stupid plants. <laughs> and here I thought you'd never leave. I'm either allergic to that bush we walked through or the lice are back with a vengeance. Ugh, disgusting. I'm done here. We need to set sail so I have enough time to stop looking like a Neanderthal before I gotta get to this mixer. I thought you were ditching Damien and Greenoy to check into some luxury resort. I wish. Everything on St. Jezebel is booked solid for the next three weeks. So you're going to compete in the National Greek Conference? Duh. If there's one thing I don't take lightly, it's competition. I'm playing this thing to win. Aye aye, Captain Sexy. <laughs> Let's head back to St. Jezebel. Just walk. <laughs> Was the boat gone or something? Are you sure this is where we landed? Positive. So then where's the boat? You see that tiny speck way out there near the horizon? You're telling me that is your boat? I thought the Chasman dropped anchor, but it looks like he didn't. But I have to get to the mixer. It's mandatory. We get booted from the competition if I'm not there. That means I will lose. Do you understand that? Remind me what mandatory means. Oh, she's mad. Dude, chill out. Let me think for a second. Mmm. This is actually more of a good news, bad news situation. The bad news is, we're stranded here. And the good news, we're stranded with me. <laughs> Not good news for Regina. Oh no. Oh, and there we go, that is the end of episode three. Make sure you go ahead and click that link down below in the description to get your free gems and your free passes. Let me know what you are thinking of Mean Girls Spring Break. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!